Hey everybody, Scott Sprintzer here, DocSports.com. It is Saturday, April 13th, 2019. I'm pumped because the NBA playoffs begin today. Going to talk some NBA on this report. Got an NBA free pick coming up also in just a few minutes. First, a quick note, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com and want to give it a trial run, real cool way to do it, you click on the link below the video, you get set up for a free $60 account, and you can use those free $60 bucks on any of my daily packages over at DocSports.com. Again, free $60 account, great trial run. All you got to do is click on the link below the video. Good news and bad news to report from last night. The bad news, fortunately, just one piece of bad news, as uh, we had a premium pick on Tampa Bay, the Lightning, minus the puck line, uh, plus $1.10 on the puck line, over Columbus. And you saw what happened. Listen, we figured it was either going to be a steamroll by Tampa Bay uh, to even up their series of one game apiece, or they could get beat, and that's why we played the puck line. Uh, we did think it would be a uh, win of two goals or more by Tampa Bay, and it was plus a dollar ten, and that makes it a little bit easier uh, to get over instead of that two eighty, two ninety, two seventy money line. So we laid the puck line. We did get beat five one final. Give Columbus credit. The coaching for Columbus, they're out coaching Tampa Bay right now, and in fact. You saw what they did last night. They played a 1-2-2, absolutely stuffed and smothered Tampa Bay, especially in the neutral zone. And what that means is that Tampa Bay's big speed advantage was negated, was basically eliminated from the game. And Tampa Bay didn't make the adjustments. Now they have to uh, as they head to Columbus for game three. Columbus has been here before last year. Uh, they were up two games to none over the Capitals going back home. And you saw what happened. The rest was history as the Capitals turned things around and went on to win the Stanley Cup Finals. But Tampa Bay is going to have to make some adjustments. They're going to have to figure out how to get their speed back to their advantage and, and get past this 1-2-2 two, two because they're getting stuffed right now uh, between the blue lines in that neutral zone. That's what happened in that game. Uh, some good news. First of all, our series play that we talked about with Vegas back on track. Uh, the Golden Knights did what you have to do. They went into San Jose, they split, and now they have home ice advantage as they head back home for a couple of games on Sunday night and Tuesday night. Uh, but a nice 5-3 to three Vegas Golden Knights win. Got up 3 nothing. gave up three goals late in the first period. That looked a little bit scary. And then Marc-Andre Fleury was unbeatable for the last two periods of the game. Here's the thing, though, if you're Vegas. Man, they had eight shorthanded uh, situations in game two. You cannot take that many penalties. But I'll tell you what, we talked about the advantage over the goaltenders for San Jose, especially Jones, and they're, they're just not good between the pipes. They're not trustworthy. I don't have any confidence with San Jose between the pipes. And here's the thing, if Vegas can stay out of committing, stay away from committing silly fouls and uh, silly trips to the penalty box, they can whack this team over the next couple of games. We'll talk a little bit more about that on Sunday's video. More good news. Major League Baseball, 5-0 and the last three days. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, a perfect 5-0, and up $1,700 for those wagering just $100 per unit. We're now 8-2 and with our 10 Major League Baseball sides going back to Sunday. I've got two more baseball sides going on Saturday's card, both available at DocSports.com at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific time. So be sure to go grab that. I'm actually... Uh, passing the NHL on Saturday, but I plan to have two to three plays on Sunday. We'll let you know exactly what we're doing on Sunday's video. But baseball, two more plays. If we cash both, we go to 7-0 and the last four days, 10-2 and with our baseball sides going back to last Sunday. So be sure to go grab that. Strike while the iron's hot. Major League Baseball. You know what we did over the last couple of months last year? We told you about that. 42-22. and 22. Off to a slow start this year, but not since Sunday. And we look to continue this run in Major League Baseball. I've got NASCAR, which is available right now. You finish up watching this video, you go grab my NASCAR picks. We've won three out of five races this year. I've got UFC up right now. Of course, 236 going on Saturday night. We've got two plays on Saturday's UFC card, and one, our top play, happens to be an underdog, so a nice price there. Uh, but go grab NASCAR, go grab UFC for Saturday, both right now after you complete watching this video. And NASCAR going on Saturday this week in Richmond, and they'll be off on Sunday. So that's a little bit of what's going on. And as far as the NBA, two NBA sides on Saturday's opening day slate, so you'll want to grab those also. We head into the postseason on a 19-6 and run in the NBA and we're up about $4,000 for those wagering just $100 per unit. By the way, in UFC, our fight game, since I've been at Docs, we're up about $3,600 for $100 per unit betters, hitting about 60% of our fights. So check it all out Saturday morning, DocSports.com. 
Uh, free pick in the NBA coming up in just a moment. Wanted to talk about uh, the other three NBA games on Saturday. First, Orlando at Toronto, where the Raptors are laying 8.5, total 213. About 60% of the tickets on the Raptors right now, minus the points. Listen, I hear those going against the Raptors, <clears throat> citing past performances in the postseason. Listen, this isn't uh, the Dwayne Casey-led Toronto Raptors anymore with DeRozan and all that kind of stuff. This is Kawhi Leonard's team. This is Marcus Gasol. This is Lowe. I mean, they're going up against a young Orlando team that may be kind of happy with themselves just for getting to the postseason. Orlando had to go on a tear, and they did. They won 11 of 13. Whether they can keep that intensity level up in game one remains to be seen. But again, Toronto lay an 8.5, and, and that one total 213. Clippers at Golden State, the Warriors 12.5, 232 on the total. About 70% of the tickets thus far on Golden State. Give, Clip, give the Clippers a, a, a round of applause, man, because... This is a team or an organization that was in rebuild mode this year. They could have tanked. They didn't. They fought hard. They got to the postseason. They're going to get knocked out in four games in all likelihood, uh, as Golden State does what they do, which is kick it into another gear in the playoffs, 16-2 straight up in their last 18 first-round games. Golden State laying 12.5, and, and again, getting about 70% of the tickets in that one. See a high-scoring game there. Obviously, Golden State's going to look to run up and down the floor and uh, that total at 232 for me would be either play it over or stay away from it. Spurs and Denver. Denver laying 5.5, 211. This is the closest bet game because it's about 50-50 as far as the tickets are concerned. A little bit sharp money on the home team Nuggets. I mean, they're 34-7 and seven at home, 25-16 and 16 against the spread on this season. The Spurs are young, uh, but they're bringing this chip on their shoulder mentality into this particular series. They caught a break, final night of the regular season. The way things played out, they don't have to play the Rockets, uh, but going to be a tough road to hoe taking on Denver. And again, the Nuggets have been tremendous at home this season. That takes us to our free pick, which is the battle between the Brooklyn Nets and the 76ers in Philly. Uh, right now, the Sixers laying five and a half, 232 on the total. Uh, that side coming down about a point and a half because Embiid, Joel Embiid, Listed is doubtful with the knee injury. Looks like he's probably not going to play. Listen, there's a couple of things to like about Brooklyn. They played well all year. Uh, they're a strong rebounding team, and they're going to have less resistance with Embiid not playing. Or if he does play at all, it's going to be uh, less than 100% with that sore knee. Not too sure how well he could play. He may just sit out this game altogether. He's not the only injury right now. You've got, for instance, Jimmy Butler, who's going to play, but he's suffering some back problems. So Philly's dealing with their own set of injuries. They've got Embiid, who might not play. And a quick note on that, when Embiid has missed action, Philly's 6-11, and straight up 5-12 and against the spread last 17. Brooklyn, again, I think is going to be able to keep this one very close. We like Brooklyn, the Nets, plus the points. That is our opinion, our free play. Uh, for Saturday's card. All right, again, don't forget what's going on over at DocSports.com on Saturday. Two more baseball sides. We look to extend the perfect run since Wednesday to 7-0. Grab those on Saturday morning. Grab my two NBA sides available Saturday morning. We look to win both and go to 21-6 and with our last 27 NBA plays. And, of course, don't miss out on NASCAR. Don't miss out on UFC. We look to continue uh, to build that UFC hot record since we've been at DocSports.com. Busy Saturday as you can tell. And again, if you have yet to become a member at DocSports.com, go click on that link below the video and sign up for the free $60 account. All right, listen, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. We do appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'm Scott Sprites at DocSports.com. Put Saturday in the win column right back here Sunday, 4 a.m. Eastern, 1 a.m. Pacific.